Well, hey guys, welcome back to the Bass Piper channel. Rumble, welcome back as well. Well, this has been a jacked up morning with jacked up videos and a jacked up cigar. But other than that, everything is going wonderful. <laughs> I tried the new John Hay uh, Amish tobaccos uh, that were combined to make a cigar. It was a, it was a cocoa. And uh, hold on a minute, I'm, ha I'm holding this by my hand. So this is the third video. And uh, as you can see, that one didn't fare well and I really wasn't into it. It, it had a torpedo end uh, head on it and uh, I did a galatine cut, just took off a little bit, but then I ended up having to put a V-cut on it. And that cigar, I just had to fight it all the way, and I just said, forget it. Um, I don't know if how it was rolled, how it was whatever, but I didn't, I wouldn't get any cocoa out of it. It just tastes like a, a jacked-up cigar. I guess you get those from time to time. Now, I don't know if these Amish uh, tobaccos or cigars are sent somewhere else to another country or to somewhere else to roll them and wrap them. But this one didn't, this one was nowhere near even the Rough Rider, uh, even the Knuckle Buster from Drew Estates. Uh, you know, it just wasn't, it didn't just, it didn't seem like a premium cigar. It just seemed like a makeshift cigar, <laughs> like a, like a $2 cigar or a buck cigar. I don't know. Maybe some of the dollar ones do better than this one. But it kept canoeing, I couldn't fix it, kept canoeing and straightened out, kept canoeing, keep going out. You know, I said, man, something's up with this. But anyway, what I was trying to convey in that last video, I had two questions, and let's see if I can remember them. The first one was, drop in the ash hole what your view um, views are with our government against the tobacco industry and what i mean by that is let me clarify if i can i have yet to figure out um why are they seeming to wanting to cut their hand off at the wrist um we'll expound on that base paper well you know with the alcohol industry and the tobacco industry you know they're making money the government's making money, they're taxing the mess out of everything, so why would you want to be so against? If everything is so bad, you know, why are you, and you're wanting to get rid of it, it's almost like, of course, this is typical for the government, they speak on both sides of their mouth, but why would you want to limit and cut off your taxes and the stuff you're getting from the tobacco industry, and why are we putting the cigars and the pipes in with the cigarettes? Now, I've heard, well, you know, the cigarette industry don't want to be the Lone Ranger in this thing, you know, or the government don't want the, um, I didn't mean to put my whole hand in front of my face, guys. I got Nothing starts itching or my allergies don't start acting up until I start making a video these days. Um, but put in your ash hole your thoughts of why this is going on or why so much the FDA regulations and attack with everything when they're making money on this. Because here's the flip side that throws a monkey wrench in all this. But yet they are allowing the states, you're not saying much about the states going ahead and okaying marijuana. And you can smoke marijuana. And there in Virginia, you can grow it some. I don't know if they've passed it yet in Virginia where you can actually just smoke it on a regular basis. I think, I think you can. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but I know there's so many other states across the United States, you, they can smoke marijuana now. And you inhale marijuana. Well, marijuana can get you high a little bit, you know, or put you in a zone, so to speak. But yet there's so much after the tobacco. What What is it there that maybe Bass Piper is missing? The second thing is this. Um, I heard on one of the YouTube videos about flavored cigars and natural cigars of some of you guys that smoke both. And now, of course, I've heard that, you know, you, you want to put, you want to have two types of humidifiers, humidifiers, humidors, um, to separate your naturals from your flavors. I get that. I understand that from ghosting and all that. 
But I heard one young man say, you don't want to put flavored cigars even in a humidor, uh, you know, a nice cedar humidor, because it can also ghost the cedar in the box and all of that, even if you just got infused flavored cigars in that. That it'd be better to put them in one of these humid, uh, humidor canisters, the canisters that clamp down, or that has a good top that sucks down on the, pushes the air out, and just throw a Boveda pack in there and and let those stay in there. Um, so, what are your thoughts on that? You know, being a newbie and trying all this out. Um, like I said, I'm not going to venture out with a lot of stuff or a lot of cigars. I do want to try a few that maybe I might like, and from time to time, just have a good old, fine, premium cigar. Uh, but let me know what you, you think about that. And also, if you do have a humidor, uh, whether it's a desktop, whatever, what kind of humidification do you use? There is so much out there. You know, Bovita seems to be the be-all, end-all. But then I've heard this one company sells these water beads. They're called water beads, and you can rehydrate those. And uh, you can use them over and over and over and over again. Uh, they're not like the gel beads. These are less beads. You pour them in a, you put them in a little, uh, they come in a bag, and you pour them in a little tray or something, and you spritz them with some distilled water, put them in your humidor if you've got like a desktop or whatever you got. And they, they're supposed to do fine. The only thing that I see about the Boveda, Boveda, Bodova, whatever you call them, is that that can be costly. Because, of course, Boveda, everything I've watched on YouTube, they want you every two months, throw it away, go buy another one. Um, I've heard you can rehydrate them, and then I've heard, no, you can't. Um, then you have these Cigar Oasis humidifiers, a humidor, uh, a humification, uh, that they have, you know, the little boxes you plug in and you put some distilled water in there and it's supposed to be, you know, the, a great thing. So there's just a lot of stuff out there that I, I want to make sure what you, maybe you have used that's cost effective. And I really, I'm trying to separate what's right and what's hype, what's marketing hype, you know, Give me something that will keep my my uh, my humidity, you know, around that 69 to 72 range, you know. And you don't have to feel like every time you turn around, you got to break the bank. You know, you're buying you're buying four four dollar to ten dollar cigars, and if some of y'all that can afford the other ones, you're buying even heavier priced cigars. But you're also having to spend a fortune on the side just to keep them in the right humidity. <laughs> now, I don't think I've got to go to a Coolador because we, I'll have them in my home, and my home stays at a good 70, 68 in temperature, so that's not a problem. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Coolador's is, um, is a temperature control thing. You still got to use a, a humidifying device in your cooler doors. So I don't need nothing at a constant temperature per se as I do humidity. Here in Virginia, especially in the summertime and that type of thing, you know, it can get humid here. Um, but within the house, I know in my man cave, it stays around 68 to about 72, you know, on a real hot, hot, muggy day, it might hit 74 and then bump back down, you know. I don't know how sensitive the cigars are, you know what I'm saying? You know, is it okay if, if your room is at 74 for a day or two and then it gets right back down to 70 or whatever, you know. I don't know um, just how crucial all of that is because I've never dealt with cigars. I know they're pretty sensitive. Pipe tobacco usually just kind of, you got to stay within a certain humidity there, but it kind of, pipe tobacco seems to be more forgiving than <clears throat> what I'm learning about cigars. So, um, let me know what you think about the government question with this thing. Uh, you know, why they are attacking so much and running the, the, the mill. I know the pipe cottage, uh, 
Harrelson who has that. It was getting ready to start a new um, tobacco online shop in Kentucky. He was doing pretty good in South Carolina, but when he got to Kentucky, you know, everything went south with what they wanted in Kentucky's rules about starting a business and tobacco and all the hoops and all the mess with FDA and all the garbage. I'm not understanding fully. I've missed something of what the hype is. Um, they're allowing marijuana and all of that kind of nonsense. I understand cigarettes need to go, in my opinion. I mean, we all know that's a no-brainer. Um, but why is the pipe and cigars being drug into all of this all the time? Um, you would think they would want to be making as much money as they can. And they wouldn't care what you're doing for that. That's money coming in. That's the tobacco industry. It's like you, know, you don't hear all this attack on the alcohol industry. And of course, they tried that many, many moons ago with the abolishment, and that didn't go well. Um, but give me your thoughts on that. Maybe it's just something base pipers having a brain fart with, and I just don't, I'm, I'm missing something there. Or if I did know, I have forgotten. I am getting older. Um, and let me know your thoughts on what you do for humidors and humidifying your humidors, if you're a cigar smoker. Um, and I'm sorry the other video didn't work out. Um, it, it saved in my, uh, it was on my YouTube to go ahead and click so I could start downloading it, but now it's gone. It's on my photos on my phone, my video on my phone, but it's not on the YouTube. It's disappeared, and I can't <clears throat> check it so I can upload it. So this is my video for today. Anyway, you didn't miss much on the, on the cigar thing because that was a train wreck. But... <laughs> But anyway, uh, I don't know if that was a combination of the newbie cigar smoker and the way the cigar was made or rolled, but uh, that was a MMA fight trying to get through that one uh, and keep the thing from canoeing. It was canoeing. As soon as I straightened it out, a canoe again. As soon as I straightened it out, a canoe. It was a train wreck and going out. So... Uh, <clears throat> So anyway, uh, that one wasn't meant to be. So anyway, I'm going to uh, get off of here. But listen, man, happy smokes to you guys. And uh, hey, relax and have a pipe and, and a cigar, at least one that don't canoe. And uh, don't forget to count the blessings of God that he bestows upon us each and every day. And I'm going to try to get this light adjusted. I'm moving around and I got light. I'm fading in and out. But... Um, don't forget the blessings God gives us each and every day. And look, Bass Piper will talk with you guys later. Bye-bye.